Okay, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your machine. Uh, we go into Utilities, then Measure Calibrate. And then here is a little button that says Calibrate, so I'm going to touch that. And the instructions say move the machine to the middle of the table close to the front roller. So I'm moving it here. I've put a piece of painter's tape on my quilt because I'm going to use that to mark my starting point. And I'm going to drop my needle and make a hole in that painter's tape. That's my starting point. Okay. Now we're going to measure 24 inches across. So I've got a straight rule here and I'm just going to place the, the zero point opposite my needle and I'm making it as straight as I can. Okay. My instructions say move the machine to the middle of the table close to the front roll. I've done that so I'm going to touch continue. Now the message says mark the position of the needle. I've done that and move the machine 24 inches horizontally. So I'm moving my machine and the, the motors are partially engaged so you can just move the machine gently and it will move in a perfectly straight line. I'm moving it along my ruler until I get to the 24 inch mark. The needle opposite the 24 inch mark. There it is. So I'm going to touch continue. Let's move the machine 12 inches vertically. And I kind of felt the other motor engage slightly. So now when I push the machine back, it's just going to move absolutely straight. And I've put the 12 inch mark opposite my needle. And I'm just going to push the machine gently back to the zero. OK, continue. Now it says move the needle back to the start point and touch OK. So I'm moving my machine back to my starting point, that hole in my tape. Touch OK. And if you look at the screen, it's zero, 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 zero. That's perfect. The machine is calibrated. It, it will measure correctly. Now, you may get a number that says 0 0.05. That's OK, too. But anything, um, anything greater than that, you will see a message that, set, that asks you to repeat the calibration. Um, so you just need to do it again. See, if, if you can't get it to read 0 or 0, 0 0.05, then there's something up, either your, your table isn't square or the carriage that your machine is sitting on isn't quite straight and you need to sort out those problems. So there you go, calibration, easy.